Hi, my name is Kevin Good and welcome to my channel. On this particular playlist, we are learning beginning Hebrew. And where we last left off, we were learning vocabulary. We're going to learn some more vocabulary today. And then next time, hopefully at a certain point in the near future, we are going to get into learning the Shorish. We also have to learn past tense and future tense, but we'll take it one step at a time, okay? So let's jump into it and learn some more vocabulary today. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we're gonna dive in with where we left off. Right here we have a vowel. A vowel is but. It means, like, what does but mean? Okay, anigabe California. I live in California. But, anigabe California, a vowel. So that is a vowel and that means but. And then right here we have ve. <laughs> okay, any will have ze, ve, I, I love this, and so you haven't learned this yet, but we're going to learn this right here. So anyway, ve is you like something and something and something. Uh, as we learn more words and as we start to put it into sentences again with a new set of words that we've learned, then we'll, we'll be able to walk through it. Okay, next we have ve. Ve means in or at. Okay, so be means in or at. Then we have ze and zot. Ze is this, and ze is masculine. Zot is this for feminine. Next, let's keep going forward. All right, so we have pretty and nice. Then we have good. We have excellent or great. Then we have who, where, and why. So let's get started. Yafe or yafa. Yafe is masculine for pretty or nice. Yafa is masculine or feminine for pretty or nice. Next we have tov and tova. Both mean good. Of course, masculine and feminine. Tov, tova. Next we have metsuyan and metsuyanet. Metsan, metsuyan is masculine for excellent or great. Metsuyanet is feminine for excellent or great. Then we have me. We've talked about me before. Then we have me means who, and then we have efo. Efo is where. I think I've mentioned efo before as well. I don't think I've mentioned lama. Lama means why. Lama, lama, lama. <laughs> why, why, why? So there's so many questions. And then, all right, so me, efo, and lama. Very important, you know, words to know. All right, let's keep going. Next we have to speak, to want, nice to meet you, who is he and who is she. Metaber is masculine for to speak. Metabedit is feminine to speak. Rotze is masculine to want. Rotza is feminine to want. Naim meod, naim meod is nice to meet you. Um, and then mize, mize, who is he? Mizot, mizot is who is she? Okay, let's keep going forward. Next, the last two that we have, we're going to use EFO in a sentence. EFO IMA. What does that mean? Where is mother? Okay, it might not be my mother, it could be another mother, but EFO IMA is just where is mother. And that goes back to the definite article that we talked about. If you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, please uh, look at some of the previous videos where we talked about that. Next, we have airport. Airport is sedete ufa. I know that's a mouthful. Sedete ufa for airport. How are you going to remember that? You know what I did when I was first learning Hebrew? I made flashcards. I had tons and tons and tons of flashcards. Uh, and then I finally, I mean, they were all, but, you know, over time they would get messed up. And then I ended up finding an app, and I will let you guys know what app I used. It's a great app, and I can't think of the name of the app right now, but I will uh, let you know what app. And you can create your own flashcards with the app. And what I did, you know, you have um, Efoima, and on one side, the other side, where is mother? You know, you know how to create flashcards. Anyway, so we're going to continue uh, next time. That's it for today. Just learning a few more words so that way we can add to your vocabulary. And then we can start using things in a sentence, more complicated sentences. And we, all, we also can learn the Shorish, uh, learn present tense, past tense, future, etc., etc., etc. Thank you for joining me. If you guys like the content on this channel, please hit the like button. 
please hit subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I release new content. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.